Good evening, I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, head football coach Matt Rule met with the media to discuss all things Nebraska football, as well as the sudden change in the athletic director position on campus. In Rule's opening statement, he had this to say. I want to spend today um, talking, obviously, I know you guys asked me about Trev and the future of that, but there's so much that's right. And there's so much that's good. And, you know, I've gotten kind of frustrated in the last couple of days as national people have called me and, you know, hey, what's your contract situation like? And we're, I'm here and I'm all in and Julie's all in. And yeah, I, I loved Ted Carter. I love Trev and I came because of them, but I came to be at the University of Nebraska and I've loved the people that I've met and we're not going anywhere um, unless you guys kick us out. And so I just want to make sure that, that, that I spend my time talking about everything that is right. Coming up on the show, we'll hear more from Coach Rule's press conference. In case you missed it, last night the Husker men's and women's basketball teams earned at-large bids to the 2024 NCAA tournament. The men's team landed in Memphis, Tennessee as an eight seed and will play nine seed Texas A&M Friday at 5.50 p.m. Central. The women's team is headed out west to Corvallis, Oregon as a six seed and will also match up with Texas A&M as the 11 seed. That one is set to tip off Friday at 9.30 p.m. Central. Be sure to tune in to the Huskers Radio Network for all the postseason coverage of Husker Hoops. Finally, Nebraska softball infielder Billy Andrews has been named to the Big Ten uh, Conference Player of the Week. Andrews was recognized after helping Nebraska to a 5-1 record last week. In six games, she hit 455 with one double, four home runs, 10 runs scored, and 14 RBIs. She slugged 1.045 on the week with a 520 on base percentage. In Sunday's game, Billy hit a two-run homer in the fifth inning, which was the 54th of her career, tying Nebraska's career home run record. She'll have the opportunity to break that record this Wednesday as they match up with Omaha at Bowen Stadium. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour one of Sports Nightly is coming up next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Bryce Williams puts his head down, drives the ball, third defender comes, can't score it. Put back in on a tip dunk, high in the air above the cylinder, with a jam with the right hand, Jawan Gary. Runners second and third, two outs, one and two the count. The pitch from Chambers, Cope golfs one to center and deep, going back Delgadillo, and it's gone! Three run, home run, Emerson Cope, make it 5-2 Nebraska. Ryan Webb with the 3-0 pitch. Drilled into center field. Long run again for Verduzco. Onto the track. Looking up. And it is gone. Home run. Josh Karens. Second home run of the night. This one a three-run blast to right center field. Chili throws down low. Markowski kicks it out to Jazz. Knocked away by Marshall. Seven to shoot. Six to shoot. Chili for three. You! Betcha! Huskers take their first lead of the game with 30 seconds left. Here are your hosts. Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are with a jam-packed show for you here on a Monday night. My goodness, if you look at our lineup, I'm not sure how we could have a better all-star cast of of people coming on board. We're going to hear from the interim athletic director, Dennis LeBlanc, one of our favorite people in the athletic department. And boy, what a popular choice when it was announced on Friday that he would be the interim AD for Nebraska. He's going to be here in a couple of minutes. The interim president at Nebraska, Chris Kaborik, is going to be here this hour as well. Folks, I will tell you that this was set up before yeah. last week. This His appearance was already it, etched in stone. So we're going to talk about this, obviously, but this is not just because of what happened last week. In fact, I asked him if he wanted to move it up a couple of days and be here last, what, Thursday when yeah. we had a show. We just don't have a lot of shows right now because of baseball. baseball. and it, So this is the day that it happened to fall on. So, hey, uh, perfect timing, I guess, that now he can come in and talk about that and some of the other things that are going on. Speaking of baseball, we normally have Will's 
full hour show on Mondays. We're so jam-packed that he's just going to do a segment with us. We'll talk to him. The Huskers coming off of a weekend sweep of Nichols. They've got two midweek home games, UNO tomorrow, North Dakota State on Wednesday, and then they've got the Aggies of New Mexico State coming in uh, this weekend. So uh, we'll, we'll join him. We'll have him join us in just a little bit. Matt Rural had a big presser today. It's day one of their competition week. And, Jess, this is what we were talking about a few weeks ago about when are they going to do all those kind of goofy-like games that's what's going on this week, and then they'll go to the football field next week. This is Team Commitment Week, and people might be, what the heck, why are they doing this? This builds a lot of, uh, you know, this is, go, uh, is a big part of what they're doing here to build the culture, the brotherhood. It's not just about, hey, let's go work out in the weight room. There's a lot of things. It's very strategic in everything that they do, and they, they pair up teams with guys that, Maybe not always. It's 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 definitely not clickish at all. So and, and when I say clickish, you're not with your position group. They, they mess they you up. Split it up yeah. so you get to know guys. You get to compete with them, and then you know it brings out that competitive fire because, you know, Marquis Buford today. I actually got a, a chance to chat with him, and and he brought up a great point. Like this is this is when you really have to be your grittiest because there's not games to prepare for and it's not necessarily fun all the time because the fun part about being a student athlete is when you get to play in those competitions well here's a chance to compete and bring out that competitive fire from these football players that hey they want to win and everything that they do whatever it might be they want to win and so you know here here's a chance to do that and it kind of gives them a great launching point into the spring football the head coach, and I tweeted this out earlier today, had a press conference. His first 12 minutes was his opening statement. He didn't take a question for 12 minutes, and it was absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. He hit all the right notes. He talked about how this is a big week in the rural household because they're enrolling his son yeah. into UNL. He's going to be a student here next fall. He then talked about... You know, yes, he was surprised by Trev leaving, but he didn't come here just because of Trev. He came here because he liked Nebraska, and you heard the clip that Cole had in the ticker there. He talked about how much this place has meant to his family already. His wife is starting a business down in South Point. He goes, I'm out playing basketball in the driveway with my girls, and they're acting like Jazz Shelley shooting threes and Alexis Markowski backing people down. He talked about how much joy Kese has brought his family. Yeah. And he, I mean, he just hit every right note, including how disappointed he is that the NCAA stuck Nebraska with A&M for both the men's and women's games. And he's not wrong. It's really disappointing. And I loved also, too, in, in that spill, uh, talking about Nash going to wrestling and the great relationship with that Mark he's built Manning. with Mark Manning. Yeah. So, you know, I, I and I love, too, I, I think it was later on they were asking him about the video that he posted. It was that the day farmers. about mm -hmm. the with the poem. And yes, that that was a big part of it, because I think that's when when fans and people that were following along with the story, when it started to unfold, well, well Matt Rule came here for for Trev Alberts and President Carter and they're no longer here. What's that mean? And I think for him, it was really important to really convey. Yeah, that's maybe ha had a big reason of why I chose to make that decision. But since he's been here, he's fell in love with this place like me. I, I'm not from Nebraska, right. but when you get here, it's different. And then you see the things and all these great things that are going on. It just, um, it, yeah, you you might come here for one reason, but then it might change. The, the reason why you stay is completely different. And so I think that was important for him to really convey to fans. I mean, it was just the kind of the message that I think Husker needed, Husker Nation needed to yeah. hear. It's what I needed to hear it's what we all needed to hear just because hey let's not get hung up on on this one thing there's a lot of things a lot of great things going on right now that he is really proud to be a part of well with, with Trev gone and and just interim he's he's the biggest face in the athletic department We're, even if you have an AD he is he's head football coach here but folks I, I know everybody's busy but, boy, if you could carve out 12 minutes, just watch that opening segment. The rest of it, he gets into some football chatter, and, and that's fine. And everybody who can't get enough of that, that's for you. But, boy, those first 12 minutes, it, it really makes you proud. and It makes you feel good about where we are right now as an athletic department. So I would recommend you go do that. But let's talk hoops. We've not been on. You had the hour show before the men's game Friday night. I thought that was an amazing performance against Indiana. And it was the KSA show, and he got a lot of – play nationally for what he did but man did they bludgeon the Hoosiers in that Friday night game that was impressive that was you want to talk about one of their more impressive performances of the season and and how they locked down defensively too but yeah it it just it really to me watching that game despite losing to Illinois which there were stretches of that Illinois game they looked really good too 
But that is what makes me excited about this team going into March Madness because if they play like that, boy, they can beat they can compete with just about anybody. I don't care if they're if they win and then play a number one seed. I just don't think if they play like that, they're gonna be a tough matchup for anybody yeah. to knock out. So, you know, they gotta put it all together and, and that was just about as much put together as we've seen. And then what to me, and yes, that was the case a night. But we've seen different wins where they it hasn't been Casey. And, you know, Casey didn't have it going as Moel against Illinois, but you still saw Bryce Williams had a good couple of days. You saw Rink Mask, he's gotten going a little bit more. So, you know, there's just there's just too many offensive weapons on here. And I know everybody wants to make it about Casey. I mean, Mina Kimes is now jumping on the Oscar bandwagon because of Casey Tominaga. And it is, it's, it, he's infectious. It, it's so much fun to watch. He's a joy to watch. You can tell how much he loves the game. But it is not just about Casey. Right. And I know that from a national scope of things and when every national media outlet that's covering Nebraska men's basketball in this NCAA tournament, they're gonna be they're gonna allude to Casey Tomanaga, but this team is so much more than that. And they can win even when he is not scoring 30 points a game. 100 percent I mean, they that they owned that first half against Illinois, and I, they had the Big Ten replay in 60 on this afternoon in the studio, so I had it up. We still had like a six-point lead with 10 minutes to go in the game. So yeah. we, we really kind of had control of that thing for about 30 minutes. Credit to Illinois. And they played great then on Sunday to win the whole thing by beating Wisconsin. I was hopeful that Nebraska's splash would get them out of that 8-9 game. It didn't. They're on that 8-9 line. I'm a little surprised that A&M is the other nine, but it is what it is. They're headed to Memphis. They'll play Friday night at 5:50. Uh, now, the part two of all this is the women. We did think last week that their their run to the finals in Minneapolis and then the overtime loss to Iowa would maybe pull them out of that 8-9. And we were right. I'm not sure I saw it going to a 6. Glad it happened. But what that tells you that that run, I think, did open some eyes of the women's committee. Absolutely. And we heard Matt Cotney saying about that G-curve and about, hey, they're going to have to find some teams to go west. And so you might actually be they might have been a seven on the seven line but because they needed to find a six seed that could travel out west mm -hmm. maybe they got that nod but that just goes to show you and i mean i i'm glad that they do it i'm glad it gives it something uh, something to talk about but um charlie cream that he was just so off he had nebraska on the eight nine line the whole time and i know Never jeff moved him. jeff grisha matt Cotney have said all along like hey don't get caught up in that but that's all there is and so hopefully you know as we go along maybe there'll be more people that invest and actually kind of know what's going on although the men's were kind of crazy too they a lot were. of those predictions yeah. were off too but they, he still, on the day of Selection Sunday, still had them on the 8-9 seed. And here they go up to a 6 and got a pretty dang good draw I, at I that. I, I, I think they got a very favorable draw. I thought they were at least a 7. Delighted they're a 6. They play A&M, and no, that is not a coincidence. That's the NCAA being evil. And shame on them for doing that for both the men and women. And that's what Matt Rural said. He goes, it's all going to be about the AD and not about these kids. And he says, I think that's shameful. That and that. that's what I mean. Even Coach Hoiberg said yesterday he thought that they were going to match them up with Iowa State. I know that they do that. I they know do. that, and it happens in every sport in the postseason. They try to get these storylines to drum up the television audience, whatever. But when you're taking away from the student athletes and making it about a storyline that's not even on the court, doesn't have anything to do with this, like that's where it was disappointing to me. And it wasn't just one team; it's two teams now that they're going to get asked about it, and they got asked about it. Amy Williams got asked about it yesterday. Fred Hoiberg got asked about it yesterday. And then when they go, now they have all these other media outlets that, that travel to cover these teams from all the different places that are there, but then also national media outlets that are now going to ask them about it again and probably going to ask the yeah. players about it. Yeah. And it's just like, hey, let's make this about this basketball tournament and this team doing something, especially the men's team, that potentially never been done here at Nebraska. And for the women to get up to a sixth seed and to do what they've done, it's just, hey, can we... Um, we not make it about that, but right. here we are. You're going to travel with the men. I think you're going to see history. I, I think, think so, too. I think they're going to beat them. I do, too. I feel good about that. You know, in, in terms of when you talk about a matchup that's a definitely, definitely, definitely a winnable game, I think both of them got winnable games in their first round tournament games. But I think the men, for sure, I think that um, this is a they, – they're a great offensive rebounding team, which they're going to have to – Nebraska's got to be better at. Rink told me that mass last night. There are times that we have shown that that's been a struggle for us. We've got to be better than that. 
but they do not score very well. And our, you know, Nebraska is a great defensive team. And I, I just, I don't know. I, it's not like sometimes in Texas A&M history, you, you go back and it's like, oh, that's an elite defensive team. I don't think Texas A&M is an elite defensive either. team either. Don't so either. I, I don't think that they're going to be able to stop Nebraska. But we'll dive into all the matchups. I just, I think for both of them, despite the Texas A&M being next to the name, I think in terms of, you know, matchups, I think both teams um, got got great matchups to potentially win. That men's team, if they do it, become the first ever in school history, that team will be legendary. They oh, will. Yeah. They'll, be, they'll be heroes for life because they finally knocked down that door of winning an NCAA game. Women play at 9.30 Friday night, men at 5.50, so nice little gap between the two so everybody can maybe have a little break between the two games and uh, order a pizza and have a lemonade uh, between the games. Folks, go out and contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free, it's easy, and it's the law. We're back with Dennis LeBlanc, the Interim Athletic Director for the Cornhuskers. That's next. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hey Huskers, it's a new day in Nebraska. Manzer Equipment, Mertz Farm Equipment, and West Point Implement of Columbus have teamed up as True Ag and Turf. Coach Rule is bringing innovation and high performance standards to Husker football, and True Ag is doing the same to your farm with game changing Fent equipment. As Big Red establishes power on the field, True Ag and Turf does the same in the field by welcoming Fent to Nebraska. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor-saving measures, ground-truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. A few drinks at home after work, a couple of hits at a party with some friends, over the counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. I just remember leaving that day feeling absolutely exhausted. I was sick and tired of living that double life. Mike is a former problem gambler. The anxiety, the depression is real. You start thinking about the money, the, where that could have went to, it's never enough. I could win $10 million today, and I'd go back and try to win 20 tomorrow. Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at lifeafterbet.com. 
Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation has known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. Cow chip throwing. Or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealers, applying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Delighted to be joined now by now the interim athletic director for the Corn Oscars, Dennis LeBlanc. We just had you on a couple weeks ago to talk about all the academic achievements in the fall. I can't imagine what the last several days have been like for you. Take us through the last week in your life. Yeah, well, it, it's been a... Uh... It's been a wild ride. So it was spring break. It was the morning, and I was holding my granddaughter, um, just relaxing when I got a text from Will Bolt saying, hey, is this true? And I didn't have any idea what he was talking about. And so then later that afternoon, of course, we got the email from Trev. And then, you know, the next day I was named as the interim. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's, been a, it's been a wild ride and a fun ride. How did you then find out that you were going to be the interim? Yeah, so I, I got a call from Chris Kaborik, who I greatly appreciate him giving me this opportunity. Um, and he asked me if I was interested, and I said absolutely because I love this place. But I told him that, um, that I don't make any of these types of decisions until I visit with my wife, Corrine. And so we chatted at home that evening, and I got back to him, and then the next day it was announced. Yeah. We do have Chris coming up on the, the block after you here tonight. That, folks, by the way, was pre-scheduled. This wasn't something we added because of the events of last week. Unfortunately, Dennis, you've been through this a handful of times yeah. in Nebraska. And I know that's kind of frustrating to, to our fan base that we've turned this job over a handful of times. What's going to be kind of your message to, to the staff, the athletes, and, right. and, and, our, and our boosters right well, now? Well, I had, I had an opportunity to reach out to all the head coaches because – in the job that I have, I deal with it. I know all the head coaches very well and um, told them, hey, you're, you're experts at what you do. Just keep doing it. And we have Trev built an amazing executive staff, individuals who have been here for a long time, some that are new to the program. And that's the same message that I delivered to them. I said, you know, you, are, you know what you're doing. Let's just ex execute it. And we have a lot of momentum, Greg, right now going on in this athletic department. Our student athletes are doing great in the classroom. They're going out and getting jobs. And we're doing really well in the competitive field as well. And so um, I think one of the things that makes me so proud to know that I worked here is that all the correspondence that I've had with former athletes and not so much of them saying congratulations or whatever, but then just seeing the occupations that they're in, whether it's, you know, it's an accountant or a teacher or, you know, construction or a social media influencer or NASCAR announcer. And, you know, as I started to get those, I just was like kind of blown away by that and thinking that all of those individuals grew up in this athletic department. And so... Um, it's, this is an amazing place, and we have so many great things in place. And, um, you know, Coach Rule mentioned in his press conference today that, hey, this is a time of opportunity. Um, and, you know, Trev is a good friend of mine, 
and I've known him for a long time. I met him on his recruiting visit with his parents, and so I wish him well. He's, I mean, he's a Nebraska alum going on to be an athletic director, but, you know, now we move on to the next, to the next thing, and, and uh, I'm just excited, and it's an honor and privilege to be asked to step in during this time. And I, you mentioned Coach Rowe. I would recommend for anybody, go listen to the, his opening comments of that press conference. It was absolutely terrific and well stated. Now for our, our fans who are kind of unsettled right now, what would your message to them be? Yeah, I, I think the same thing to just hold steady and, um, you know, know that um, I, I would say to, to kind of do like what I've done in my career. I mean, I came here in 1983 and I worked in the track and field program and I've been so blessed to have that opportunity. But I've just kind of stayed steady in the athletic department and rode the highs and the lows, but just know that you want to just kind of maintain that steady line and we're, we're going to be okay. Um, and, and, it, and a lot of it is because of all of those fans that are out there. Uh, I can tell you that I have a chance to visit with almost every recruit that comes on this campus and that our fans are one of the most important selling points of what we have here at Nebraska, not only because they show up, but because of the beautiful facilities that we have, you know, as far as them being generous. Um, so I would just say, hey, keep doing what you're doing and know that there are many great people in place to make sure this is continuing to, to move in the right, right direction. Visiting again with Dennis LeBlanc, the interim athletic director for the Cornhuskers here on Sports Island. You mentioned coming here in the track and field realm. Everybody thinks of you in the academic vein, but you, yeah. were, you were a college athlete yourself. Yeah, in fact, when I became the director of academics, my college roommate said, did they really check your transcript? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I grew up dreaming about working in a place like this. And I, I, I grew up in Kansas. I always used to go to my uncle's on Thanksgiving, and we watched the Nebraska-Oklahoma game. And I used to think, wow, look at all that red. Those people, my uncle would complain about all the, um, the Nebraska people going through Marysville on their way down to Manhattan. And so, you know, I, I decided, I guess at some point, you know, if we can't beat them, I'm gonna join them. And that's what I did, I, I came aboard. But yeah, I competed. I, was, I competed in track in high school and football and basketball, all the sports, went on in, at a lower level and played football and basketball and have been very tied to the football program a lot during my time here. I mean, I look at Coach Osborne as being a mentor, you know, um, during, throughout my career at Nebraska. I had a chance to visit with him the other day and, and uh, told him that I was following in his footsteps because he was Nebraska's first academic advisor. And then I told him he was an inter interim athletic director. And I said, the only thing I need to do is be a football coach at some point. <laughs> Speaking of football, and I know you had a chance to listen to Coach Rural earlier today, uh, pretty wise words. Your, your thoughts about him and how comfortable are you with what the lead of that program is right yeah. now? Yeah. I, you know, when I was on here a few weeks ago on the academic piece, I raved about Coach Rule. And, you know, lis listen to that press conference. Um, that guy, he, he's amazing in my words. Um, and I think Nebraska is so fortunate to have him leading our football program. I've seen him build the culture of this team. I've seen it from the inside out. Uh, I, I get a chance to communicate with the players a lot, and they absolutely love Coach Rule. I'm no surprise to anybody, um, but they love him, and they look at him as a father figure, um, and those, those guys listen to him. Now, I can tell you that. On the academic piece, there's no messing around. Um, and the individuals, the people that he's surrounded himself on the football floor, um, you know, just an amazing group of people that, you know, I, I love going down there because they are so energized and so focused on turning this thing around. And, you know, we saw the progress made last year. Uh, I am so fired up about Nebraska football and Coach Rule. Dennis, what a week. We've got March Madness. I know the wrestling team is headed to Kansas City later in the week for their NCAA championships. This is a terrific time of year, isn't it? Oh, it, it's, it's wonderful. I, I had a chance to be at the selection show at Coach Hoiberg's house last night and to see all those young men there and realize they get to be a part of this and then go down to PBA uh, and see the great work um, that that coaching staff has done. So for Coach Hoiberg and Coach Williams, um, 
you know, just what a fun time. I mean, this is why you're in college athletics. I mean, it's, there's nothing like it, you know. Wrestling, they have nine wrestlers going to nationals. Swimming and diving, they have a couple of individuals. Right. Yeah. They're going to be making the trip down there. So there, there's a lot of momentum going on right now. And, you know, all of us who work in athletics and the fan base can wor- learn so much from our, from our athletes because they are resilient. They, they just, you know, came back off spring break. Of course, baseball, softball, and a number of our sports have been around. Others got a little bit of a break away from Lincoln, and they're going to come back down, hit the books for the last nine weeks. And, yeah, I mean, it, there's, there's nothing like it, Greg. There's nothing like it. Well, congratulations. A, a terrific choice, and I'll pass that on to President Kaborik. Thank when you. He, I appreciate he, that. Here in the next segment. The outpouring of support you got on social media after this announcement came out late last week, that had to be humbling for you. Yeah, it was. So many former athletes. Yeah. And, um, you know, some of those individuals didn't like me so much when they were here. <laughs> and now, but, but um, yeah, it, it was really, well, like I said, the cool part about it is just to see what they're doing now, their careers that they're in, their families. Um, yeah. So I, I think that that's the part of it that yeah. we can all feel really good about. And I, and I get it. We want to win. I'm, I'm a very competitive person. I mean, that's why... You know, I've been, we've been very competitive about getting our graduation rates at, to be one of the highest in the country. And so we want to win on the field. And, um, but to see what these individuals are doing now, and they love Nebraska. They love Nebraska. And um, so I just told them, I said, I am going to give every ounce of energy in this body to keep the Husker ship sailing in the right direction while I have this opportunity. Um, and again, it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun and an honor and privilege. Thank you for the time. Congratulations. Thank you. Dennis LeBlanc, Interim Athletic Director for the Cornhuskers. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Interim President Chris Kaborik will join me next. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Visit Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram during Ram Truck Month and save on the entire lineup of trucks. Shop the rugged and confident 2024 Ram 1500 and enjoy best-in-class towing and an array of tech features designed for whatever journey comes your way. Get up to $11,000 off MSRP on all in-stock 2024 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Laramies. Your trusted Ram dealer since 1991. This is Woodhouse. With approved credit, tax, title, license, extra. $299 dock fee due at signing. Offer expires 4-1-2024. See dealer for details. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver, and at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Are you ready? It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers. 
Hey, Huskers, it's a new day in Nebraska. Manzer Equipment, Mertz Farm Equipment, and West Point Implement of Columbus have teamed up as True Ag and Turf. Coach Rule is bringing innovation and high-performance standards to Husker football, and True Ag is doing the same to your farm with game-changing Fent equipment. As Big Red establishes power on the field, True Ag and Turf does the same in the field by welcoming Fent to Nebraska. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Purchasing your next car, truck, or SUV from Woodhouse Ford is easier than ever thanks to our streamlined buying process. Shop our current inventory and offers going on now and experience the convenience of buying with Woodhouse Ford today. Save up to $11,000 off MSRP on the 2023 Ford F-150 XLT plus 1.9% APR for 72 months. With approved credits, vehicle is a retired courtesy. Stock number T2325162. $299 doc fee due at signing. Offer expires 3-31-2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. And we do have a pre-scheduled interview with the interim president of the University of Nebraska, Chris Kabork. I do want to get that out there because people say, oh, you put him on now because of all that's gone on in the last week. We did have you scheduled to be on here tonight, but we're glad you're here tonight. And, the timing is pretty good after the news of last week. Take us through that. How shocking was that? I know there was a lot, some information flying everywhere on Thursday and Friday. Can you clear some stuff up for us at all? Um, well, thanks for having uh, me, Greg. Always great to be here with you. Um, you know, I'm, as we talked about, I'm a Husker fan. I'm lifelong Nebraskan. Grew up with Bob Devaney, Coach Osborne, so... You know, I was just as shocked as, as anyone when um, when Trev and I had some conversations about this opportunity he was considering. And, um, you know, uh, ultimately, uh, when he informed me uh, late Tuesday afternoon of his decision, um, I was just, just as disappointed as ever anyone else. And uh, shocked is a good word. And, um, you know, uh, absorbed that for a little while and then immediately went to work on terms of uh, – mostly just giving some assurance to our athletic program, our coaches. I reached out to as many coaches as I could, um, some of the key executive staff members, et cetera, that, um, you know, we're going to be okay. Um, you've heard, you heard Dennis talk about it. Uh, you heard Coach Rule talk about it this morning. You heard Coach Hoiberg talk about it. Nebraska is a special place. And uh, what I've learned in my 27 years at the university, I, I've, I'm uh, now going to go on my probably fifth or sixth president. You know, um, change, change is inevitable. It happens. And, um, but what's so great about Nebraska is, is, is this is a special place, and it's the people, and it really um, it's more than any one person. And so I respect the heck out of Trev. Um, he did a gr- lot of great stuff for us. He, he's going to leave us in a better spot um, before when he came, but – you know, it's time to time to move on. I'm I'm focused entirely on um, uh, finding this de- the department's next great leader, and um, 
we've had tremendous uh, response so far. So I'm really excited about the opportunity before us. We just had Dennis on the, the block before you, and, and I did ask him this. And, man, there's the outpouring of people that were congratulating him was pretty impressive. A lot of former players and athletes. How did you land on Dennis being named the interim? So, um, you know, I, I, I probably took a, an hour or so to uh, digest the news that Trev gave me, and then uh, we met, went right to work. So, um, you know, it's been a lot of long hours um, since that um, since that since Trev made that announcement. Um, so really it just went to reaching out and talking to a lot of people um, inside the athletic department, outside the athletic department, uh, in the community. Um, and there was one name that consistently was brought up in terms of, you know, who could bring some stability, uh, who's had some longevity, who could just kind of be that calming presence that is needed when, when, when this kind of shocking news um, hits hits uh, an organization or, or department? And Dennis was was consistently mentioned as um, that stabilizing force that uh, um, that I should consider. So Dennis and I had a had a couple conversations, and I knew immediately he was the right person. Um, you know, he just said he loves this place. Um, many of the answers I gave when the board approached me about being the interim president. He loves this place. He would do anything he can. He loves the athletes, the coaches. And um, it was a pretty simple decision in my point uh, at that point, too. And so I was really glad um, that Dennis and his family uh, were willing to, to step up and um, and uh, take on this leadership role right now because he's been the, he's been the perfect guy. Um, to manage all of this. Busy with Chris Kaborik, interim president for University of Nebraska here on Sports Alley. All right, let's look ahead. Now the search begins, right? Take me through what maybe the last 72 hours have done with that. I know you're also in Minneapolis with basketball. We'll have some fun talking about that here in a minute. But what can you share with us about the process? What are some of the next steps in the in the coming weeks? Yeah, so we are, um, you know, Husker Nation. We're we're working on this uh, day and night. Um, you know, I I got my my truck on Friday and drove up Minneapolis, and we'll, we'll talk about that. But um, I got home about 2:30 in the morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, and 6 a.m. We were back up talking with individuals that have interest in the job. So, um, you know. This is a this is going to be an easy sell because this is a special special place and um, I know you I know Coach Rule just made some really great comments about it um, and they're all true and um, and so we want to move as quickly as we can but we're going to take our time to make sure we get somebody that makes a lot of is a good fit for Nebraska but I think at this point um, what I can tell. The, your listeners is that I've just been overwhelmed by the number and the interest in people and have for this job. And it's just not because of resources. It's just because it's Nebraska. It's a national brand. People want to be affiliated. They're paying attention. You know, Coach Rule talked about it this morning about the national relevance. So, you know, we look at, right now at our, at our winter sports programs women's basketball, men's basketball, wrestling. You go back to the fall, women's wow. soccer, volleyball, uh, football, who, is, who has everything moving forward. And, and what we're doing this spring with softball and, and baseball, um, you know, I could go on and on. And um, Nebraskans expect to win. And, and people are attracted to that and want to be part of that. So um, there's been no shortage of interest um, despite – you know, maybe some of the speculation going on in social media and, and media reports. Um, you know, we are aligned as a leadership team. Um, you know, I've been talking constantly with Coach Rule, and um, this is a fantastic opportunity. Um, our fan base, our, our, our resources, and, and that alignment now between the president's office, the, the athletic director, and, and, our, and our coaches that uh, we're going to attract a high hike. Uh, quality uh, person to to take this leadership role. You mentioned you were in Minneapolis. I think you've made that trip twice now. In a couple of weeks, you probably know that drive really well. Your thoughts about attending both the men's and women's tournaments? Uh, I think we talked. You know, I, I'm a basketball junkie. You know, as a, as a referee, I just love it. And um, 
I, I really encourage, uh, the Big Ten does a great job putting on the event. And um, if anybody has an opportunity, I just really encourage you to go do it. You know, you're, you're in there with all the other Big Ten schools and fan bases. And um, so it started, you know, what, two weeks ago with the women and the incredible performance they put on and, and the incredible fight that they had in that championship game against Iowa and, and Caitlin Clark in a, in a in an 18,000 seat arena where, you know, maybe a thousand were Husker fans, the all were Iowa fans. It was just an incredible game, incredible environment. And then what, uh, what the men's team did on, on, um, you know, Friday night against Indiana and, and Casey going off <laughs> and, uh, just really winning over the arena and, uh, was just a lot of fun. So, um, you know, we played, uh, three really good halves of basketball. And then I think, um, you know, I'm not making excuses, but you know, I didn't get home till in my hotel room until after midnight on Friday night. I can't imagine by the time the team got you know all their post recovery thing done, and then it's it a pretty quick turnaround to turn around and play that kind of afternoon game. So I think just um, you know a little fatigue, and uh, I think I can say this maybe a little inconsistent uh, officiating that oh, okay. um, <laughs> that I, I um, not saying that caught the game, but. Uh, but really proud of Fred and the team and what they've done all season. And I can't wait to go watch them in, in Memphis here on, on Friday. Big week. It's going to be a fun week, right? Women head out to Corvallis and men are down to Memphis. You'll be in Memphis. I am going to go to Memphis, and I'm trying to figure out how I can get from Memphis yeah. to Corvallis. But, uh, in a couple of hours, it might not be. A... <laughs> but uh, I can't wait. This is, you know, March Madness is, is a great time of year. Uh, the selections on Sunday were, were a lot of fun. A little interesting, um, a lot of fun though, and uh, you know, I just, I'm just so happy for our student athletes that they get to have this experience, yeah. and our coaches. I think both Fred and Amy talked about this is what it's all about, and uh, it's just going to be really fun to go watch them compete. Parking lots were full again today. I enjoyed last week. I could park real quick, and now you got students all back after spring break, huh? Get it going for the final run here. Yeah, um, you know, I heard Dennis say, you know, we got about nine weeks left, yeah. and um, um, hopefully everybody got a little refreshed, and um, we're back to class. And uh, but, you know, it's just not our athletic department. There are just so many things going on that are so good at our at our, in our, at our university. And one of the, I think I talked about it, but I get to go talk to kids in high schools, and and there's just so much enthusiasm about what we're doing at the University of Nebraska. And so. It's a really great time to be a Husker. So much fun. Chris, we appreciate it. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Anytime. Chris Kabork, interim president here at the University of Nebraska. Dorothy Lynch, homestyle light and lean dressing, endless flavorabilities. We're back to wrap up hour one next. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Experience luxury car buying like never before at Genesis of Southwest Omaha. Browse our full range of SUVs or our lineup of exceptional sedans, offering unparalleled elegance and sophistication. Plus, right now, lease the 2024 Genesis GV70 2.5 Turbo All-Wheel Drive Select for $669 per month for 36 months and 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, tax title, and license extra. First payment, $4,999 down, plus $299 dock fee to its signing. Security deposit waived. Offer expires April 1st, 2024. See dealer for details. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Woodhouse GMC is bringing you more for the new year. With every new GMC purchase from Woodhouse, we're including three years of scheduled maintenance. Plus, with our current lease offers going on now, you'll save even more. Lease a 2024 GMC Terrain SLE for $389 a month for 39 months, 10,000 miles per year. Woodhouse GMC, we are professional grade. With approved credit, must finance with GM Financial. Must currently lease a 219 or newer GM vehicle to qualify. $1,995 down payment and first payment plus $299 off fee due at signing. Offer expires April 1st, 2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Woodhouse Auto Family. They are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Greg Sharp rejoined by Jessica Cootie. How about that half hour? Dennis LeBlanc, Chris Kaborik. I, I hope everybody enjoyed that. I was, that was, there was a lot in there in those last 30 minutes. Yeah, and you know, it's, again, I... I am ready to move on, and I think a lot of people are, but there still are some questions and just some assurances at the leadership, um, at the top of the leadership of how we're going to move forward. And so it's always great to hear. And I've just been so impressed with um, Chris Kabork when he's come in here in the studio. He's so great to talk to, and um, you know he wants to come in here live and and um, answer any questions. And he's like, ask me anything. So I think mm -hmm. you know how. Transparent he is, and he wants to talk about it and, and discuss these things. And then Dennis LeBlanc, I mean, he's just one of the nicest, greatest human beings on the planet. And he, you know, you, you said it a lot, but just the way that the student athletes responded to him being named as the interim AD, I just, you know, so it's important to hear, despite, you know, I think, yes, we're maybe ready to move on, but it is important to hear from those guys during this time as we do navigate through these times of change. Mike on our text line said, Will Dennis and Chris. Uh, have a say in who will be the new AD and president? I, I, I don't know. Probably not. I mean, Chris, Chris is the interim. I don't think he's privy to some of the Board of Regents conversations that take place. Dennis is the interim AD. He's trying to take care of the, the database. I mean, they may run some thoughts by him, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know how much influence either guy will have on, uh, on the future of this thing as well. So uh, it's, it's going. I, I think there's been some rattling that we're close to having a new president named. Uh, and AD, it usually takes, I'm trying to think back, Jessica, Bill Moose to, to travel was about a month, I think. And that was over the summer months. Sometimes it's hard to get around guys' vacations and stuff. I would think by the spring game, we would have a new AD. Yeah. I mean, and again, despite, um, you know, the having interims in both, it's still important to have somebody in that position, you know, and um, as much faith and everything that we have and and both those guys but to to take that interim tag off or to find somebody that's permanent in those roles and there's just so much going on right now in terms of uh, in the landscape of college athletics that you want to have that stability but then um it's just um yeah the knowing who your leader is and then just all these things that these uh, how many discussions are being had right now in terms of where college athletics are going and you know even the college football playoff discussion with the what just happened last week right and so just having somebody in the room that's going to be there is going to be big for nebraska hey we're, we've we've left the element hanging in the room how about chris mentioning some officiating calls? Uh, right i mean he's I mean, allowed that... he is allowed to do that because he is an official like that's where my dad and my brother i allow them to you know criticize because they've got the official eye you know if you are an official, I feel like you have the right to to question slash maybe criticize a little okay. bit. Okay, so they're kind of in the club, in the fraternity yes. that they can, within that group, you can question that. Okay. Wow, what an hour. It went so fast. We've got a great second hour coming up. We're going to hear from Josiah Alec, Kendall Moriarty on the selections of the men and women making the NCAA tournament. Men headed to Memphis, women up to Corvallis. I've been to Corvallis a couple of times. Not one of my favorite spots, but uh, they do love uh, basketball up in that part of the country. And we'll also hear from Will Bolt all in hour two. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Are you ready? It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers.
Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, head football coach Matt Rule met with the media to discuss all things Nebraska football, as well as the sudden change in the athletic director position on campus. In Rule's opening statement, he had this to say. I want to spend today um, talking, obviously, I know you guys asked me about Trev and the future of that, but there's so much that's right, and there's so much that's good. And, you know, I've gotten kind of frustrated in the last couple of days as national people have called me and, you know, hey, what's your contract situation like? And when, I'm here. And I'm all in. And Julie's all in. And yeah, I, I loved Ted Carter. I love Trev. And I came because of them. But I came to be at the University of Nebraska. And I've loved the people that I've met. And we're not going anywhere um, unless you guys kick us out. And so I just want to make sure that, that, that I spend my time talking about everything that is right. Coming up on the show, we'll hear more from Coach Rule's press conference. In case you missed it, last night the Husker men's and women's basketball teams earned at-large bids to the 2024 NCAA tournament. The men's team landed in Memphis, Tennessee as an eight seed and will play nine seed Texas A&M Friday at 5.50 p.m. Central. The women's team is headed out west to Corvallis, Oregon as a six seed and will also match up with Texas A&M as the 11 seed. That one is set to tip off Friday at 9.30 p.m. Central. Be sure to tune in to Huskers Radio Networks for all the postseason coverage of Husker Hoops. Finally, Nebraska softball infielder Billy Andrews has been named the Big Ten Conference Player of the Week. Andrews was recognized after helping Nebraska to a 5-1 record last week. In six games, she hit 455 with one double, four home runs, 10 runs scored, and 14 RBIs. She slugged 1.045 on the week with a 520 on base percentage. In Sunday's game, Billy hit a two-run homer in the fifth inning, which was the 54th of her career, tying Nebraska's career home run record. She'll have the opportunity to break that record this Wednesday as they match up with Omaha at Bowen Stadium. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour two of Sports Nightly is coming up next here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Bryce Williams puts his head down, drives the ball, third defender comes, can't score it. Put back in on a tip dunk, high in the air above the cylinder, with a jam with the right hand, Jawan Gary. Runners second and third, two outs, one and two the count. The pitch from Chambers, Cope golfs one to center and deep, going back Delgadillo, and it's gone! Three run, home run, Emerson, Cope, make it 5-2 Nebraska. Brian Webb with the 3-0 pitch. Drilled into center field. Long run again for Verduzco. Onto the track. Looking up, and it is gone. Home run, Josh Karen's second home run of the night. This one a three-run blast to right center field. Chili throws down low. Markowski kicks it out to Jazz. Knocked away by Marshall. Seven to shoot, six to shoot. Chili for three. You betcha! Huskers take their first lead of the game with 30 seconds left. Here are your hosts. Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, it's going to be tough to top last hour, right? That was pretty darn good stuff with the interim athletic director, the interim president on. But, hey, we'll do our darndest here, right? You know, we've got some, if any, if anything could, March Madness with two teams being in March yeah. Madness might get close. Yeah, you know? be good. Did you notice, too, that there was a bracket or a graphic that was put out that said, and I retweeted it, but retweet if your team's both your men's and women's teams made the NCAA tournament. Only 22 How teams. about that? Only 22 programs. And you and I have talked about this. You know, you think about, oh, 22 sounds like a lot, but there are a lot of programs that play college basketball. 350. And yeah. so for only 22 to be, to have their, both their men's and women's teams in the impressive. NCAA tournament, it's really impressive. Very impressive. Looking forward to this week. Those games both on Friday, as Cole just told you, the men at 550, the women at 9. 
30. I like that there's separation between the two. Yes, at least not Shake the same time. One. Right. Oh, my gosh, that was awful a couple weeks ago when Is they were playing. The Big Ten, it was when the men were playing their season finale and yep. the women were in the Big Ten championship. Against Iowa. Men were playing Michigan. Yeah. yeah. So at least we don't have that problem. Well, Jessica was busy yesterday after both of these selection shows. She had a chance to talk to players from both teams. We're going to start with Josiah Alec, who certainly has become a fan favorite coming back to Lincoln to finish off his college career. People love his enthusiasm, his fight, his energy, all those intangibles that even the head football coach has noticed and mentioned his name uh, today at that press conference. Here's Jessica talking to Josiah after the announcement that the Huskers were going to play the Aggies of A&M. This is one of the reasons why you came back to Nebraska. How did it feel to see uh, the Huskers in that NCAA tournament field? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's... You know, definitely like a dream come true. Um, you know, obviously it's something that we kind of realized was um, obviously more than likely going to happen uh, about a week or so ago. Um, but, you know, it's always nice to, you know, see it like officially in there um, and just know like the kind of opportunity that's ahead for us. You know, throughout this whole process, like you said, you guys felt like pretty good going into today. What's gone into this team putting things together to be able to put yourself into this position that you're in today? Um, yeah, it really just comes down to not taking anybody lightly. Um, you know, especially in this conference, uh, you know, even though, like, there's no real, like, bad, bad teams when you look at it on a national stage. Um, obviously, you know, Michigan didn't have a great year overall this year. Um, but even with that, you know, they were still, you know, 115 or so in the net out of 360 teams. Um, and so just kind of keeping us in that mindset and just knowing that, you know, every game we have to be locked in or it's a, or it's a lost opportunity that could hurt us in the end. Um, just kind of really helped set us up for finishing strong in February and, you know, winning that one against Indiana and putting up a good fight yesterday against uh, Illinois. So I know you guys will dive into the scout for Texas a and but one of the first things that pops up is how good of an offensive rebounding team that they are. How much are you going to put that on yourself to, to maybe slow that down? Is How important is that your role in that and, and not allowing them to do what they do really well? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's one of our main keys every single game just because it is something that we've been very inconsistent with over the course of this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know especially, you know, me, Rink, Juan, um, and just, you know, all the guards too, because, you know, our best games are when guys like Bryce, JMR, CJ, and Casey, you know, they, they get up there with like three, four or five defensive rebounds just coming over the top, um, and just kind of cleaning them up when those bigs are occupied. And so this is going to be a big game, um, for them and obviously a big responsibility game of just the level of consistency it's going to take from everyone, uh, from one to 15. When did you realize that this team might be pretty special, might could do something pretty special? Um, you know, I mean, this is my fifth year. Um, and so I kind of started to notice the signs, um, you know, in the preseason, uh, once I kind of got to start moving around with guys after my ankle surgery recovery. Um, you know, I could kind of tell just like the level of depth and talent we had and knew that, you know, if we weren't in this position by the end of the year, it was only going to be our fault and nobody else's. It wasn't going to be a, oh, you know, we just fumbled it in the conference tournament. Like I knew that we would have the type of guys and, you know, just the level of talent and capability to, to be here. And so um, it's just kind of, it's, it's definitely a little bit relieving to seeing it kind of pay off, but, you know, knowing that, you know, it's no time to relax. Not just getting the team to the NCAA tournament. I know you guys want to do something that's never been done here, which is win an NCAA tournament game. What would that mean to you as a Nebraska to, kid to help this program do something that's never been done? Uh, I mean, it would be everything. Um, you know, that that's kind of always been just a, a knock on this on this program. Um, you know, since I've been around and you know just aware of those kinds of things, um, just outside of you know, always like my favorite team where I like watching basketball. Um, and so, you know, every, everyone, no matter what program, like the first is always, you know, the most special, whether it's, you know, the first win in the tournament or the first championship, um, you know, being the first always just means more. And so I know everybody on this team, you know, obviously including me, is they're not, they're not going to lose sight of that these next few days as we prepare for them. Last thing I got for you, you know, Coach Hoiberg has bragged about how businesslike, how professional this team has been throughout this whole season and, and taking it one game at a time. But how important is it to enjoy this time, too? And, and really, you know, this is what you come to, to and play college basketball for. Yeah, you, you know, it's really tough um, because you, you really have to try to find that balance of just, like, soaking it all in but not getting kind of complacent with what you've done so far because you know it's not over until that final buzzer's off, um, you know, whenever, whatever game that is. And so, you know, even after we win, like, this first-round game, 
you know, we can't be like, oh, we made history, like, let's go, you know, and then, you know, curtain falls, like, you know, it's, we still got, then it's on to the next. And so, you know, after the season, we can go back and, you know, I know our media guys are exceptional with what they do. They'll have amazing recaps and videos to make sure they capture every single moment of it. Um, and so more or less just holding off <laughs> the emotion as good as we can um, until that final moment, but um, no promises. I said last thing, but what goes into this week? The prep, you know, the now that you know who the opponent is, I know you'll dive into that, but what goes into this week for this team to be able to maybe go do something special? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's the thing. Like like Coach said, you know, just in you know, how you pointed out with like this being like the number one offense rebounding team in the country, when you're playing against a team like that, it's not as much about what kind of schematic game plan are you going to put together. It's more or less just how badly do you really want this? Um, because then the day, you know, the re if they're jumping over your back, the refs are going to make that call. If they're pulling you out of the way, the refs are going to make that call. And so it's just going to be, are we going to be willing to make those little sacrifices, put our bodies on the line, knowing that they're coming and they're not going to stop. And, you know, we're going to have to take those blows in order to, you know, get them in foul trouble or slow them down. Um, and so, you know, I mean, obviously the coach is going to put together a great scout for us, as they always do. Um, but it's just going to be on us players to, um, you know, get the job done. Appreciate your time. Congratulations. Thank you. He's become one of my favorite interviews. You can just, uh, you know, he's just so, he's so cerebral and knows the game. He, he, I think he's really trying to take it in, too. I mean, he was. Hope so. We were, we were discussing today in a meeting. It seems like we see him everywhere, right? We were talking to him after that interview. We were like, okay, we're going to head out to the women's selection show. There he was. And I'll be dang, he wasn't out there at the women's selection show. You know, he was at a lot of their games. I just, I think he, he really, even though it was just a year, and a little bit like Sam Griesel just really appreciates and loves being a Husker. And so, um, you know, he's going to be big. He's going to be a key player in this matchup with how well Texas A&M uh, rebounds the ball. Got to stay out of foul trouble. Yes, And absolutely. that's kind of what got the Huskers against Illinois is the foul trouble they got into in the second half. Questions in the chat room about where was the mink? The mink? I don't know. I, I should have asked him about it. I should have asked him. <laughs> Didn't have it on that time. Uh, folks, contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. All right, Jessica, after talking to Josiah, head down to the PBA where they had the watch party last night where the women found out that they are a six seed headed to Corvallis also to play Texas A&M. And she got up with Kendall Moriarty after the announcement. Here with Kendall Moriarty, the Husker women's basketball team going dancing as the sixth seed. How did that feel to see Nebraska with the six next to it? I mean, it's crazy, but I think we're ready. Like Maddie said earlier, we're ready for, you know, any challenge that comes our way. So, yeah. How much were you guys waiting for this moment? I know you guys were really disappointed, missed out last year, went on the NIT run. But to get back to the NCAA tournament, what did that mean to this team? Oh, it means a lot to everyone, especially for the girls that were here two years ago when we made it. Um, I think it's really exciting. I mean, this whole week that ever since the Big Ten Championship up till now, like it's been like, come on, like, can we get this going? But finally, since it's here and we're seeing that we're succeed, it's, it's great to see. You know, going back to that Big Ten tournament, what did you guys put together that worked that allowed you guys to make that run um, to, to put some things together and start playing your best basketball? Yeah, I thought we worked uh, as a group very well together, and I thought we um, share the ball with each other a lot and kind of learn from our mistakes from games prior, and I think just like moving forward, we continue to build on to what we had, and I think it took us a very long way. I know you guys were disappointed, but how much confidence can that provide you guys, seeing the kind of run that you can put together in that short span? Oh, a ton. I mean, making it to the Big Ten Championship is a great thing uh, for our team, and having it be a close game, too, like, we had it, and so... I mean, it gives us a, a boost of confidence, and I think we're ready to continue that going forward into the NCAA. What's been the focus this week, being that you had the time off leading up to today? How have you guys focused on yourselves throughout this week? Yeah, we had a lot of time to focus on ourselves. I mean, defensively, like, we tried different things on defense, like different zones, um, all that stuff. But offensively, we really took a deep dive into our offensive uh, plays and kind of found different reads and all of that stuff. So. When you guys had the option, you guys unanimously voted that you wanted to share with Husker Nation here on Selection Sunday. Why was that important for you guys to be here with the fans tonight? I mean, they're a big part of why we're here. Um, I think it's important for all of us to share this like special moment together. I think it's a really cool thing to, you know, have them be a part of it too. So, I mean, every time I'll vote yes for it to be here. So. 
you guys have proven you can play the best in the country when you put it all together. What goes into this week to be able to be prepared for an NCAA tournament run? I think we do a great job scouting teams. I mean, our coaches do a great job scouting teams. So I think just focusing, like we have done in the past, just on our scouts, no personnel and all that stuff moving forward, I think will help us in the tournament. You know, and just with this team, it's been so special to see everybody embrace their own role, whatever that may be. And sometimes it's you're like the defensive lockdown person. But, uh, you know, how special is that to be a part of a team like that? And no matter what it takes, everybody wants to just do their part, whatever that role might be. Yeah, I mean, everyone buys into it. Everyone's having a good time on the bench and on the court. I mean, you can see it just like pouring out of us, like the chemistry that we have. And I think a big reason is that is that everyone buys into the role and works hard in that role and helps us succeed. So. Last thing I got for you, how motivated are you guys not just to, you know, punch the ticket and be there, but to do something more than just making it to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think we're real hungry, especially after the um, Big Ten championship loss. I think that really is motivating, motivating us, like, moving forward into this tournament. I think that our team is going to have a lot of fun. Kendall, appreciate it. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we, uh, we've talked to a lot of the players, but hadn't talked to Kendall this year, and She's her role has been really important. Mm -hmm. And if you talk to any of the players, you know, yeah, a lot of kind of a little bit like Casey across the country nationally, they'll talk about Jazz Shelley, they'll talk about Alexis Markowski. But this team, the reason why they're special and the reason why they were able to do what they did in the Big Ten tournament was because everybody contributed and everybody played their role. And Kendall Mor Moriarty has played a huge role. She's a really great defender. You know, she was one of the ones that had to lock Clark, down Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, she's in that starting lineup now. And I think they've found something since they tweaked the starting lineup and with her and, and Logan Nisley in that starting lineup. I said several months ago, I thought the two Kendalls would really be a pivotal for their success. And Kendall Colley hasn't played as much, but she's hit some big shots. When she comes in, it's like she makes unbelievable yeah. plays. Like she makes game-winning and momentum-swinging plays every time yes. she's on the court. And then Kendall Moriarty, like you mentioned, has become a bit of a de defensive stopper for that team. So good stuff there. Again, they play on a Friday night, 9.30, out in Corvallis. Matt and Jeff will be on the air at 9 o'clock. Let's pick off a couple of texts before we go to our break. Stephen Bellevue, what are the odds? Both the men's and women's team play in A&M. Conspiracy, ha-ha. You think, Steve? Here's <laughs> yeah. my. I was thinking about this. But the women were pretty much already done, right? I mean, because they didn't have a whole lot of teams There playing. weren't many left. So it's like, that was the only thing for me. I, it wasn't like they made their selections yesterday. The men's definitely were, it was a really quick, hasty decision. Yeah. But I don't know about the women, because I, I, I would think, think that right. their bracket would have already been pretty much done, because most of them were off last week. Probably by Friday night, they probably had that bracket pretty well done, Yeah, I would think. John in Omaha says, maybe I do drink the Kool-Aid, but it sure was nice to hearing from the acting president, or it should be interim president, interim athletic director tonight. I feel much better hearing them and the fact that Husker Nation is still on track. Go Big Red. John, I, I couldn't agree more. I thought both gentlemen really handled themselves really well tonight, and I think everybody needed to hear from both of them. Yeah, absolutely. It's just... You know, it, despite in, internally, however we might feel, and oh, look at these teams. But I think, you know, as, as a fan base and to hear and say, hey, we, we've got a plan. We've got this covered. We know what we're doing here. And, and we believe in, in the direction that it's headed. And we're not going to allow for it not to continue on this trajectory. So, um, yeah, it's always, as much as we can, you and I can say it, it's just, uh, it sounds a little bit different coming from those guys. Absolutely. And a question for, for Coach Bold. I'll take care of this one. Doug and GI says, why do the teams fly out of Omaha, not Lincoln? We don't have big enough planes in Lincoln on the commercial side. Now, they'll charter a couple times. And they do fly to Lincoln, but they need a bigger plane, so they go to Omaha and generally try to fly southwest where bags fly free, which is big for the ball bat sports because they take a lot of gear <laughs> on the road. He also wants to know, baseball used to wear black uniforms when they were going for a series sweep. What changed? That was an edict from the previous athletic director. He didn't like the black uniforms, right? So that may change now that, mm. that Trev has departed. Good question. Hey, the head coach, coming up next, we'll talk to Will Bolt. Don't miss out on limited time appliance deals during the closeout event at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Hurry, these deals are too good to last long. Shop in store or online today because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 1 4 through 124. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details.
At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Are you ready? It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Woodhouse Lincoln wants to redefine your driving experience with our stunning lineup of Lincoln vehicles. Come visit us in store off 114th and Giles Road or online anytime at woodhouselincoln.com. Lease at 2023 Lincoln Nautilus for $459 a month for 39 months, 10,500 miles per year, or receive 0.9% APR for 60 months. With approved credit, security deposit way, $3,000 down payment plus first payment and $299 off due to its signing. Offer expires March 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. It's time for another round of Nebraska farm facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Are you ready? It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months, plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150, plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Welcome back inside our Acres Broadcast Center. Acres is the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Well, the field this past weekend, Haymarket Park, was good to the Big Red. They sweep Nichols, who coached. They came in here at 17-3. and three. 
And Friday was a really hot and competitive game, but boy, you took it to them the next two days. You have to like what you saw. Yeah, it was a the Friday game. Honestly, if the game had gone a different way, if they had found a way to win that game, the series looks completely different because of the way you know we used a ton of pitchers on Friday night. It would have been a tough emotional loss. Um, instead, they were kind of on the, the losing end of that one on Friday, obviously, and they, they kind of felt it, I think, a little bit on Saturday and Sunday. We, Once we got on top of them, um, it, it just wasn't quite the same fight that they showed on Friday. But they have a good team. They have a really good lineup. Um, I think in particular their Friday and Sunday starters. The Friday starters as good as anybody's. Their Sunday starter, I think they felt like he was their second best guy, and they have him there to try to win series or salvage series and, and – uh, so we played at a pretty high level. The thing I, I liked seeing was no, no infield errors uh, on the weekend, which was a step in the right direction. And, and just the number of high quality team at bats that we saw over the course of the weekend was, was really impressive. And um, obviously we saw a bunch of different guys on the mound. You, for the first time, played midweek games and two of them at Wichita you split with the Shockers, and then you have this wild series with Nichols, and Ben mentioned this to you in the postgame. You didn't use a guy twice over the weekend. Right. Just, that speaks to the depth you must feel like you have in that bullpen. Yeah, and there, there's some guys that I uh, like Freilich. You know, he was a little bit dinged up earlier in the year. We probably would have seen him more, but he's feeling better and better each week. And, and same thing with Olsen a little bit. Um, he, they both got good stuff. Um, Freilich, is, he pounds the zone. Uh, which we had that long inning there. Rocket had gotten us kind of stabilized there. We had that long inning and um, took the lead. And then so Freilich, that was a big inning for him to come in there and, and pound the zone um, and get us back in the dugout quick. And Olsen was able to minimize too. It wasn't perfect, um, but he, he was able to minimize. He got the double play ball, filled it his position, and only got out of there with one run. So a um, lot, of, lot of positives. Um, out of the bullpen, like you said, not not having to use McConaughey and Timmerman and Borst and Perry and all those guys. Dice, um, they only threw Friday night, you know, so they'll be, and that's a good thing coming up with five games this week. Yeah, two more midweeks this week with tomorrow night being UNO. Head baseball coach Will Bolt with us here on Sports Signing. A couple of minutes into this thing, and I haven't mentioned Will Walsh <laughs> and the job that he did all week. I mean, he gets a start for you at Wichita, gets you a win, gets you six innings, which was big to allow you to save some arms for Wednesday. And then what he did with the bat this weekend. Just talk about him. He's a talented kid. I mean, I think sometimes he, he's, a, he's quiet, um, <clears throat> so he doesn't, he doesn't seek out any sort of attention. But he's, he's super talented. I mean, a guy that can, you know, be a starting pitcher for you and hit. And, um, you know, we talked about a little bit before the game Sunday, but yep. he's dabbled in switch hitting, you know, even. I mean, he can, he can hit the ball out of the park left-handed, even though he's a right-handed hitter. Um, yeah, he made us look good, didn't he? I mean, we put him in the lineup, a couple of lefties there, and um, <clears throat> I took the best swings of the weekend, obviously. I mean, just the, the, the grand slam was a 3-2 pitch. The three-run homer to get us going on Sunday was a 3-2 pitch. Um, put the ball in play every at-bat. Um, just a really tough out. And it's a sign of a good team, a good lineup, because, you know, we had a couple of guys. Stoney, you know, had, had I think, one for 13 and, and not having as good at-bats as he had had the previous week. And facing some, some left-handed pitching gave, gave Will an opportunity, and there's no drop-off there. You know, yeah. you, get, you have some guys that, that step up and – um, and, and that's the strength of our team. And defensively, he more than holds his own at first base. Absolutely, yeah. He dug, he dug a ball early and got a, got a lot of action over there. All right, your outfield, you still kinda, you're still you still rotating some guys in there just trying to get some A-Bs for different people. That's another good problem to have. I mean, Garrett Anglum has done really nothing wrong, and yet you were able to put him on the bench for a day or two. Yeah, and the, it, that's the thing. I mean, when those guys sit, it's not necessarily because they haven't done something. It's just more of... You know, Gabe hit the home run on Saturday. Yeah. Um, Anglum, you know, he, he battles some tightness at times with his hamstrings and back, and it was a cold day, and I just I, I didn't want to lose him for six weeks again, yeah. um, like what happened last year. And um, it's nice when you can put a guy like Gabe, Gabe Swanson, you know, back in the lineup and, and give him an opportunity. He took a couple of good swings again on Sunday. Um, you know, Krev, Cole Evans has been giving us good at-bats. You know, Bradford... He's got a 1,200 OPS, and he's got 15 at-bats on the year. So we, we've got to continue to get him opportunities. Case Sanderson, 
uh, and obviously Silva has been a, a presence there at the top of the lineup. Sure has. All right, you need to, you need to share with everybody the secret of Rhett Stokes and hitting <laughs> at Haymarket Park. It's been unbelievable what he has done. Yeah, I, I've never seen anything like what he's done to start his career at home. Um, he's a gamer. I mean, that, there's a lot of guys that I think are like that on this team where. You know, probably not going to stand out a whole lot watching him take BP or, you know, doing any of those type things. He's, he's not going to hit the ball, you know, maybe as hard as some guys. Um, but he's got a pretty good understanding of who he is as a hitter. And now that he's settled into that and started to get some confidence, I mean, you, you're starting to see flashes of the guy that, you know, was a, one of the premier junior college players in the country coming in, a guy that could hit the ball over the field, could drive the ball, has got sneaky strength. Um, he's just a heady baseball player, and um, he obviously sees the ball really well at Haymarket Park. Another week of two games, Omaha tomorrow, North Dakota State Wednesday, and then New Mexico State comes in for the weekend. And this is kind of the last big run of non-cons. We're getting close to getting into conference right. play, which is certainly exciting. But I do want to ask you about Friday. It's going to be Alex Gordon, Hall of Fame recognition night. They're going to have a little T-shirt giveaway as well. One of the all-time great Huskers. It's always cool when Alex is in the ballpark. Yeah, it is. And, and just a true um, leader in every sense of the word for the Huskers and then again for the Royals and then in the big leagues, just he, he led by example because he was always checking every single box that you could possibly check. And he was he was unquestionably our best player at Nebraska um, pretty much his entire career. Um, but you ask every one of his teammates, he was very humble. Um, you know, he, he had the best diet on the team. He was the hardest worker in the weight room. He, he would never take off a rep uh, in the infield when he, when he was playing third base in college. And um, certainly... Uh, what a career he had for, for the Huskers and, and helped lead us to our first College World Series win. You know, his junior year won the Golden Spikes Award. And um, again, just a, if you picture to me what Husker baseball is all about, it's that picture of him that's his, he's covered in head to toe with dirt and chalk and everything else uh, at the old Rosenblatt Stadium. And that, that's what we aspire to be is, is just a bunch of talented, talented gamers like, like Gordo. It's going to be great to see you and have him back. I do want to ask you, last week was certainly a crazy week for Husker Athletics with the resignation from Trev Alberts. But a really fun moment and a, a moment that kind of caught me was Friday night after your win, Dennis LeBlanc, who's now been named interim athletic director, who might be the most popular guy in the staff with all athletes because he deals with so many athletes and has for decades here in Nebraska. Now the interim AD, you guys gave him a nice round of applause and he came out and joined your huddle. Yeah, and I, I, I didn't see him. Um, it was some of the guys had seen him back at the back of the huddle, and they made sure that got my attention to get him up there. And, um, you know, he was our sport administrator for a couple yep. of years, big support. Um, yeah, so to, to get him up there and, and um, get him his first victory, he came in and laughed. He said, hey, I'm undefeated. And, <laughs> and uh, so he got the, the team photo uh, that will be hanging up in the locker room now for the rest of the year as well after after the game. So... Um, yeah, excited for Dennis. Um, he is a high-quality individual and, and uh, certainly a, a leader who's been here for a long, long time uh, at, this, at this school. Um, you know, the reason that we've had as many academic All-Americans look no further than, than Dennis and, and what he's been able to do in that department. Perfect guy, I think, to kind of take over here in a, a rocky moment. It's always kind of unsettling when your AD leaves the school. And, but, I'm, you know, I think there's confidence that everybody that will get a good, good replacement and, and in time that'll, that'll happen. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, good to see you. Uh, good luck this week. Five games, going to be a busy week. Uh, let's uh, go get some more wins. Let's do it. Sounds great. Head coach of the Oscars with us. Time now for our Nebraska Lottery trivia question, and we're going to do these each week when we have coach with us on Sports Alley. Only one winner per household. Last Wednesday in Wichita, cool moment. Max Butenbach had an inside-the-park home run. When was the last time, and who was the last Husker? To do that, if you've got the right answer, Texas, 402-413-2400. We'll tell you who the winner is next. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! 
Ways. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Things that impair you come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are the shape of beer and liquor bottles. Others look like cigarettes but aren't cigarettes at all. These are the things we know impair us, the things our parents warned us about. What we're not always aware of is our new prescription or the over-the-counter medicine we picked up just for allergies or a bad cold. See, it doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If you are impaired, driving is deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Hey Huskers, it's a new day in Nebraska. Manzer Equipment, Mertz Farm Equipment, and West Point Implement of Columbus have teamed up as True Ag and Turf. Coach Rule is bringing innovation and high performance standards to Husker football, and True Ag is doing the same to your farm with game changing Fent equipment. As Big Red establishes power on the field, True Ag and Turf does the same in the field by welcoming Fent to Nebraska. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyset Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Take your car buying experience to new heights with Woodhouse Mazda. Shop our full lineup of luxurious CUVs that will transform the way you travel, like the spacious and sophisticated Mazda CX-90 or the sleek and sporty Mazda CX-5. Plus, lease the 2024 Mazda CX-50 Select for just $399 per month. 36 months, 10,000 miles per year with approved credit. Tax title license extra, first payment, and $299 dock fee due at signing. Stock number MM240366. Offer expires April 1st, 2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres 
solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you here on a Monday night. Thanks to the coach for coming in for a few minutes. Our Nebraska Lottery Trivia Contest this week when we're playing for $100 in scratch tickets. Our question was, who was the last Husker prior to last Wednesday night to have hit an inside-the-park home run? Some good guesses, Jackson Hallmark, Cam Chick. Well, the right answer was Joe Acker. He did it against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, and Tom and Hayes had the right answer. Congratulations, Tom. Every week during Coach's radio show, we'll ask a question again. The only rule, only one winner per household during the baseball season. So congratulations to Tom. All right, head football coach met with the media today. They're about ready to launch into spring football practice as we head toward that April 27th spring game. And the biggest topic of the day was the, the change of leadership in Nebraska with Trav Alberts leaving as athletic director. The coach was asked what traits would he look for in a new athletic director. I, I really want somebody who's, who, who has unbelievable urgency. This is like one of the most pivotal. We, we, we spend a lot of time talking about like the transfer portal and NIL. This is one of the most pivotal times in college athletics. And the, I, we just need doers. You know what I mean? We need doers. We need people who just figure it out and work. And so, um, you know, I love the fact in Trev that I had an athletic director that was here, you know, at 7 o'clock, 730 every morning in a suit and tie. You know, like he was a worker. Uh, Pat Kraft, who I worked with it. Temples now at Penn State was a worker. You know, they were right there with you. So I, I think what, what we need is somebody that's going to come in and just get things done. Um, and again, they, they have to be really mentally strong because when you come to a place that has as big a brand as Nebraska that people are so passionate about and care about, when you do something, a lot of people are going to like it. Some people aren't going to like it. And if you're listening to the outside noise, you have no chance. So I'm just hoping that it's somebody that's a, a worker, a doer. And I also want someone... Sam, that's going to go fight, okay? Go fight in the in the in the committees in the NCAA to go to go fight in the Big Ten. Like I can say, because I'm the football coach, I'm mad we're playing Texas A&M both games, because now the games are about the AD leaving. It's not about our players. Our players deserve it. The games to be about us. And so, you know, I think having somebody somebody that's not going to just go quietly into the night. That's a doer. That's a worker. I think that's what we need to really take what we have and, and get it on overdrive. Coming from someone who, who is a worker. No doubt. You know, that is something that he values and um, wants out of his staff. And so um, not surprising that that's what he wants out of his boss, too, is someone that's going to get in here and roll up his sleeves and, and do whatever it takes to continue to help Nebraska on the right trend. There were some eventual football questions that got thrown <laughs> the coach today on the press conference. He was asked, how much urgency is there about spring ball, and in particular this spring for the Huskers? I think um, I think getting them to embrace doing hard things and understanding that um, getting them to understand that like hey um, I I went through a lot of hard things last year we went through a hard things in the season and what I was proud of is you know we lose to Maryland and we come back the next week and a heartbreaker and we, and we play to the whistle again we play to the whistle again so having them understand that hey we can we, we're strong enough and resilient enough to handle all that now it was within our control to take another step. I think a big part of that has been not just working, but we're going to have more competition and more, more you know, competitive type play because last year the roster was a little bit more like this. Like you had really top heavy, like really good players here and then a bunch of young players and new players. I think this year we have way more parity. And we have some guys in their sixth year that maybe they don't need to do a ton of spring football or they're coming off of injuries, but we have a lot of really good young talent. And so We'll have to just do a lot more competition because what I want to see is a team in the fourth quarter when the game comes down with five minutes left that just makes one more play than we made last year. It's not this huge overhaul. It's just, hey, make one more play on offense, make one more play on defense. You know, we, we, beat, we beat Northwestern because we, we blocked their field goal and ran it back, like not because we did something crazy that week. And so playing and, and competition, you know, I've been going and watching my daughters play a lot of sports and um, – they're just way more fun when they're playing three on three or they're playing knockout than when they're doing layup lines. And, and I know you need to do layup lines, but this, this generation likes to play, you know? And so um, my guys, they like to go out there and compete and play. And so I'm, I'm going to do more of that this spring so that we get really comfortable playing. And, you know, if you take our scholarship quarterbacks, we've got two freshmen. And so they need a ton of reps. And so we will take more reps than we've ever taken before to get them ready and to get Heinrich ready and have a really strong quarterback room. Hmm, that's fascinating. It's also cool, too, just to hear him how, you know, he's constantly trying to do what 
individual teams need. And so now that a lot of the things are in place, hey, we, we got to figure out how to be successful in playing. And, and in, when we're in these situations, well, how do you do that? You play. <laughs> you play more, you get more competition, you get more reps in that. So I, that was a fascinating take. And I think this team is probably ready for that. They, I agree. You know, for as much young talent that's coming in, there's a lot of guys that have played a lot of football mm -hmm. on both sides of the ball that they're probably ready a little bit for that. All right, how about the schedule for the spring? How, how do they fall about this? This is kind of competition week, and then it's actually to practice the next week. Here's the coach talking about how he set the spring up. I got here last year. The, the spring game was already set. And so that what happened afterwards was the spring game, the, the, we had a bunch of, like, dead time. You know, and so I just said, well, why don't we maximize the amount of time? Now, there's benefits to having an earlier spring game. If someone gets hurt, they have more time. But... Um, you know, with over 50% of our roster being, you know, redshirt freshmen or newcomers, you know, I wanted as much time to lift, as much time. So we kind of just pushed the spring game back a week so there's less dead time on the back end. I believe the academic calendar is a little bit different this year. They get a good break after the spring games. We don't come back till June 1st. And so th those are some reasons of just trying to get that done. You know, last year I was kind of caught up with when the portal was, and this year I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to coach the guys, you know, so, and I just felt like, hey, a bunch of good weeks here would help us, and then it worked out where there was this week, spring break last week, and then this week, and so we've always done this team commitment week, you know, we divide into teams, we go to Twitter, we have all kinds of competitions in the morning, we do team activities, you know, voluntary team activities at night, um, and it's, it's a chance for us, it's a chance for us to, to, to get to know each other, you know, on a kind of smaller level, you know, smaller teams within the team, so, it's a fun week, so we'll start next week. But it was just kind of that reason of just trying to push things back so there's not as much dead time just kind of in May. And it's warmer. It was warmer. Yeah. It's <laughs> but warmer. it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, you know, last year it kind of went a couple of weeks before spring break, took the break, came back. I don't think, I don't think he liked that at all. I don't think he liked that break. Yeah, uh, that, that time odd. for spring break, a lot of, I mean, I, the years that I did it at OU, it just is so, it's almost like you have to, start back over you right. know like you have to go back to practice one and two when you get back because there is there's just so much time in between those those days of practice commitment week that's what's going on this week for the husker football team woodhouse auto family they are your trusted auto partner 20 brands 20 convenient sales and service locations we're making car buying on your terms visit us online at woodhouse.com all right when we come back gonna name everybody's weekend winners looking forward to that that's next that's the best way I could describe how it felt for me when I would walk out of either the casino or the kino parlor is that you just felt that wave of heat, that wave of oppression kind of hit you, that wave of dread. Mike is a former problem gambler. Right away, you would always know that that drive home would be the worst moments of why. Why did I do this again? Why can't I stop this? Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at Life After Bet. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. 
Final segment of our Monday show. No shows tomorrow or Wednesday. Husker baseball, UNO tomorrow night. The Bison of North Dakota State Wednesday. Back Thursday, Jess will join us from Memphis. The men fly there on Wednesday. They'll have their open practice, their media session on Thursday afternoon. And then you'll have full coverage from that for us on Thursday night. Looking forward to that. I'm so excited. Uh, we're leaving out Wednesday, so we will be there and um, all kinds if you're, we'll have a lot of it on Sports Nightly, but since we have baseball, a lot of it you can follow along on social media. But we got some fun things planned there uh, to cover this special team in the NCAA tournament. I did want to note, too, for anybody listening in that wants to join, I, I created a bracket. It's just for bragging rights. So a Sports Nightly bracket on ESPN, if you go to the, the bracketology page or whatever, and then you search a group, it's a public group. Sports Nightly, so Sports Nightly, two words, dash GBR. Love it. So get in there. Let's all sign have fun. up. Let's see who's the going to be the winner. I was awful last year. Where I, yeah, mine wasn't very good. Cole's already created his bracket. He chalked it, I think. Um, so yeah, let's get in there. Let's yes. get some people in there. That'll be fun. We'll be able to bragging rights uh, for our group. So yeah, ESPN.com, their bracket challenge, search groups, sports nightly slash or dash, dash yeah, sports GBR. nightly dash GBR. And then you can find it and then create your bracket and play along. Create your name. So, you know, like some of our folks in the, the chat room, they have their own little nicknames. That's fine. Use those again so we can know, know who's kind of playing for that. That's going to be great. That is going to be fantastic. All right, weekend winners, what's on your mind? Uh, I'm giving it to Billy Andrews. She is now tied and one home run away from being the sole owner of the home run, the program career home run record. She's at 54. She tied Taylor Edwards, had an incredible weekend. And so uh, she's going to be on top of that record book. There's, We've been saying it all year. She was yeah. not far away from it. She was going to break it. It wasn't a matter if, it was a matter of when. And so uh, it's probably going to happen this week. Uh, she's probably going to be the, the sole owner of that program record. And that is just incredible when you talk about a program like Nebraska softball that's been to the postseason and, and has had some great hitters and she's passed all three of the Edwards sisters so uh, that's saying something you right know there. so and she's there that's not the only stat but then also what she does on as a shortstop it's just really a lot of times it's just you just hit and you're an incredible hitter but you you don't really do anything else but she does both and so I'm giving it to Billy Andrews and this team had a pretty good weekend too. They play Omaha Wednesday and then they start conference play with Illinois coming to Bowling over the weekend for a three game series. Mr. Cole what do you have? Well it's uh the men and women, both impressive to, to be uh, an at-large tournament bid. I'm going to give my winner to the women. Um, they got placed a, a pretty good seed, a sixth seed, and that you know technically means that they're a top 24 team in the country. Yep. And I know that we had felt like you know that's where we were, even though we never had, uh, we didn't really have for men or women the number next to their name. But it's uh, nice to see that recognition. Very good. Yeah, I thought seven was there. I didn't. I was really pleased that I see the six line pop up. Yeah, absolutely. And they got a great draw. So hey, I know Oregon State's pretty good at home, but this team they they just want a basically a road environment the whole time uh, yep. against Iowa. They, they were right there with Iowa, so they're not they're not afraid of a road environment. They will also depart on Wednesday. They'll have open practice sessions and immediate thing up in Corvallis on Thursday at nine thirty for the women. Friday night the men play at five fifty. Uh, and again, we are not allowed to use, to stream those with Kent and Coatney on our Huskers app or on Huskers.com. NCA sells the streaming rights to a different company. So if you're going to hear those guys, our guys, you got to listen to old fashioned radio yes. for these games. Yep. So if you're looking for it on the weekend, sorry, it isn't going to be there on our on our normal platforms. Wish we could. Hey, my winner, Scotty Scheffler, back-to-back -back Players' Championships, rallied from behind yesterday down in Buena Verde, te uh, Florida. Uh, great job. Clearly the number one player in the world right now. It's hard to win one, let alone back-to-back -back Players' Championships. It was some pretty good golf yesterday afternoon. I was slipping back and forth between that and the Big Ten Championship game when I got home from uh, baseball. All right, baseball tomorrow night, UNO, Huskers, and the Mavs. 6.05 first pitch, 5.30 pregame coverage, and then a game on Wednesday. We're back with you on Thursday night for a full two-hour show. Thanks to Cole for steering the ship. We're back with you again on Thursday for a full two hours of Sports Nightly. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
for farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I got in a crash. I'm okay. I was wearing my seatbelt. People count on you to buckle up. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. I just remember leaving that day feeling absolutely exhausted. I was sick and tired of living that double life. Mike is a former problem gambler. The anxiety, the depression is real. You start thinking about the money, the, where that could have went to. It's never enough. I could win $10 million today, and I'd go back and try to win 20 tomorrow. Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at lifeafterbet.com. TNL Irrigation Company knows their way around a field and across it into the corners. And even through storms, TNL engineers are constantly working on solutions producers need, like the new Gooseneck Cradle Corner System Attachment. It greatly improves corner span stability to tackle steep terrain and stand up to high winds. If you're looking to upgrade your corner system or add on new, call your TNL Irrigation.